We now go to Thomas Madden. He's Professor uh, of History and Director of St. Louis University's Medieval and Renaissance Studies program. He joins us now from there. Thanks for, uh, thanks for joining us, sir. Hi, how are you? I'm, I'm very well and uh, very glad you could make time on this uh, historic day to, to join us. Um, this was a speedy decision. Um, it, they only started yesterday and already they've come to a decision. Did that surprise you? No, not really. In the modern era now, the, uh, the decisions seem to be made very quickly. Um, this would be the second day um, this time. I mean, the usual norm in, in this century has been two, three, maybe four days at most. So it's, it's right about in line about what we would expect. And um, talk about what you'll be expecting from the new pope. Um, what, uh, what will you be expecting him to do as he takes office? Well, um, I mean, he will be the, the head of the, the Catholic Church. He'll have plenty to do with, um, right from the beginning. However, I think it's pretty clear, given the fact that it uh, was decided so quickly after only five ballots, that it's going to be almost certainly one of the front runners of the College of Cardinals, and uh, therefore um, someone who has, has thought a lot about what he plans to do. Um, I think that it will be not... Uh, uh, it won't be a, a large surprise, I think. Uh, uh, now, Professor Madden, um, but back in the 1960s, we saw the Second Vatican Council, where the, the, where the church was, to some extent, overhauled. Do we see something like that coming down the pike, where, where you know, a complete overhaul of everything? People talk about the curia needing reformation, um, and obviously there's a, there's a worry about uh, lack of religion um, in people's lives, too. Yeah, I think those are two of the main uh, agendas that the new pope will have to deal with. Certainly one is the, the bureaucracy in Rome is, uh, has some major problems, and it needs to be reformed. And I think, I think the cardinals, many of whom are, are not insiders in Rome, know that very well. Um, and so that will be a major task for the new pope to take care of that, the clean house uh, in the bureaucracy in Rome. It's become, I mean, it's become almost Italian. Uh, in its uh, uh, in its complexity and, and its uh, uh, even corruption, um, the other more uh, enlightening and uplifting component to it is the is to continue the new evangelization movement, which really began under John Paul II and continued through Benedict, and it, it's this idea of trying to bring Catholicism back and to reinvigorate Catholicism uh, in those areas that were at one time very strong, uh, but have since lost. Uh, that zeal for the faith. In particular, of course, Europe would be a, uh, is a major area for that, but also other secularized states like um, uh, even the United States.